I love constructing stuff and, and feeling like either figuratively or literally you can put your hands on something that you conceived of and designed and then built. People don't necessarily think of school teachers as creative, but we are, we have to be. A kid's gonna have a very different public school experience based on their zip code. If they're born in a wealthy school district, they will have a lot of resources. If they're born in a poor school district, they will have very few. When I taught high school in the Bronx, I wanted my students to read this book that I had read and loved when I was a teenager, but there was no money for it. I had to buy the book out of my own money and I had to make photocopies so that my students could read it too. So I think it was the third week of my first year of teaching. I'm making photocopies at like six in the morning of that day's section. And I figured there must be a better way. And then it dawned on me. DonorsChoose.org is a website where anyone can be a classroom hero, no matter the size of their donation. Any teacher at any public school in the country can create a classroom project request seeking any resource that their students need to learn. We started off really small. My students were our staff members. My classroom was our office. And today, more than half of all the public schools in America have at least one teacher who's created a project on our site. My name's Charles Best, and one day I had a new idea. That idea was DonorsChoose.org. There's a change underway, and it's a change in who you have to know, and how lucky you have to be, and how long you have to wait to bring a creative idea to life. It's about a new kind of marketplace where gatekeepers do not stand in your way. DonorsChoose.org and, and other crowdfunding sites are really a way for so-called amateurs to go public with their creativity, with their originality, and for anyone to be able to support them. Our site got going years before crowdfunding was even a word, but I think we helped to pioneer what's now a movement. Every day the freight elevator opens in our office and the postal service comes pushing in cartloads of hundreds and hundreds of packages of thank you letters that students have written to their donors. It's about citizen philanthropists, the students of mine who volunteered after school to get the site off the ground, the colleagues of mine who created the first projects. It's the first donors who responded to the letters that my students hand wrote. It's about foundations and companies like Kia Motors, which has funded 15,000 classroom projects for more than a million students. And altogether, the, this constitutes a, a, a movement. We're not done with new ideas here at all. The idea started as just a simple way for people to donate to classroom needs. But now it's about trying to change the education system itself. And one way we could do that is by opening up our data so that people can see what resources are most needed in different cities and states. It's about giving teachers a voice so that the powers that be can listen to those teachers and what they're trying to tell them about what resources our kids most need.